gag reflex. That sudden throat spasm that shows up the moment you smell something rotten or see something oozing, that's the gag reflex. Evolution's fast-acting note button. It's part of our broader disgust system, but this one specializes in protecting the mouth and throat. Early humans who gagged at the sight, smell, or taste of anything contaminated, spoiled meat, feces, parasites, foul water, avoided a whole menu of deadly microbes. Natural selection loved that. If something looked unsafe to swallow, your body didn't wait for your brain's opinion. It just tried to eject the threat like a bouncer at closing time. Your scrunched nose limits airflow, your stomach flips, and your throat literally tries to slam shut. Even though our environments are much cleaner in modern society, this ancient program still saves us. It's why we spit out sour milk, avoid filthy bathrooms, and recoil from the world's most questionable leftovers. The gag reflex might embarrass you when a pill touches your tongue wrong, but that same over-the-top reaction is also why you don't accidentally swallow things evolution knows are plotting your downfall. Calluses. When your hands or fingers toughen from lifting weights or playing the guitar, that's your skin switching on its callus building program, evolution's version of putting on extra armor where you need it most. A callus is the body reinforcing a high traffic zone before anything starts tearing. For early humans, this was a survival upgrade. They climbed trees, dug for food, carried rough tools, and walked over landscapes that would shred soft skin in minutes. Calluses turned daily friction into protection, giving our ancestors natural foot shields and hand pads. Even better, calloused feet stay tough without losing sensitivity, perfect for navigating uneven ground while still feeling what's underfoot. In the modern world, gym rats grip barbells without ripping skin, guitarists withstand steel strings, hikers avoid blisters, and gardeners upgrade from tender hands to hands of steel. Calluses might make your hands look like you wrestle sandpaper for fun, but those same rough patches are the reason modern tools, sports, and hobbies don't shred you like a cheese grater. Peripheral vision bias. Ever caught a flicker in the corner of your eye and immediately snapped your head around, only to realize it was just your cat plotting chaos again? That's your peripheral vision at work, evolution's original motion detector. Early humans owed their lives to this sneaky side vision, the edges of your retina are packed with rod cells built for spotting movement, not detail. So when something twitched in the bushes, your ancestors didn't need to know what it was, just that it moved. That reflex meant the difference between lunch and being lunch. Today, drivers notice cars merging from the side, athletes track opponents without looking directly at them, and pedestrians avoid collisions in crowds. All thanks to that early warning system humming quietly in the background. Your peripheral vision is proof that even when you're focused forward, your brain's still watching your back and your flanks. Fear of heights. If you've ever looked down from a balcony and suddenly felt your stomach drop like a broken elevator, that's evolution tapping you on the shoulder saying, hey, maybe don't die today. The fear of heights isn't weakness, it's an ancient safety feature. Our distant ancestors who felt queasy near cliff edges survived long enough to pass that instinct along. Those who thought they got a cool view and wanted to get a little closer usually didn't. Over time, that healthy vertigo became hardwired into our bodies, and it's still handy. That rush of adrenaline when you step too close to a railing keeps you cautious on ladders, rooftops, or even hiking trails. Gravity hasn't evolved, so our fear doesn't need to either. Even babies show it. Studies found that crawling infants refuse to cross a glass cliff or bridge, proving we're born with depth-based self-preservation. So next time your knees wobble at a great height, remember, that's 300,000 years of evolution protecting you heavy sweating. Humans are the only animals who can finish a long run looking like we just climbed out of a swimming pool. That's because sweating is our superpower. We've got millions of tiny eccrine glands that spray water onto our skin, and as it evaporates, it dumps heat faster than almost any mammal can manage. For our ancestors on the hot savanna, this was very important. While predators had to stop and pant to cool down, humans could keep jogging through the midday heat. This is how early hunters literally ran antelopes into heat stroke. We weren't fast, but we had much better cooling, and that sweaty engineering still pays off. On hot days, a trained human can outlast a horse, a dog, or most gym bros who forgot their water bottle. Our cooling system lets firefighters work in heavy gear, endurance athletes dominate long races, and everyday people survive summer jogs without their organs melting. While sweating might make you look like a malfunctioning sprinkler system, on first dates, that same soggy survival tech is the reason your ancestors didn't pass out chasing dinner. Flinching. Touch something hot, and your hand flies back before you even have time to yell. That lightning-fast jerk is one of evolution's oldest tricks, the flinch reflex. 
It's a preloaded escape move your spine launches before your brain even gets the memo. For early humans, those fractions of a second mattered. A split-second retreat from a thorn, ember, or snapping branch could mean the difference between fine and infection. So evolution hardwired a shortcut. Sensors in the skin detect danger and trigger an instant pullback through the spinal cord, skipping the brain entirely. The conscious ouch arrives after your body has already saved you. Today we rely on this reflex constantly. Touching a hot pan, dodging a fast-moving object, recoiling from a spark, reflexively shielding your eyes. Your flinch system is basically an always-on bodyguard. It might make you jumpier than a chihuahua during fireworks, but that ancient software also saves you from dozens of small disasters a week. Threat negativity bias. Ever notice your brain treats one negative comment like a federal emergency, but barely registers a dozen compliments? That's threat negativity bias, the ancient mental filter that highlights anything even remotely dangerous while letting good news slide off like a fried egg on Teflon. It's the same wiring that makes you stare at a suspicious shadow in the hallway, but forget the nice thing someone said five minutes ago. Evolution built this on purpose. For early humans, ignoring a snake, a hostile glare, or a weird smell from the bushes could get you removed from the gene pool with impressive efficiency. Missing something positive? Mildly disappointing, but not fatal. So natural selection basically told your brain, when in doubt, panic. This bias still works behind the scenes today. You pick up red flags early, spotting a sketchy rental listing, a too confident salesperson, or scam texts and emails that feel like a trap. Your threat radar activates long before your reasoning does. Fun fact, research shows it takes five positive events to outweigh one negative one. It might make you spiral because someone said interesting outfit, but that same hypervigilance is also why you dodge scams, danger, and decisions you'll regret later. Tunnel vision. Have you been so stressed that the whole world shrinks down to one single thing? The exam in front of you, the problem on your screen, the object flying close to your face? That's tunnel vision your brain's emergency trick for cutting out everything except the threat of the moment. In prehistoric life, this could save your life. If a leopard lunged at you, noticing butterflies off to the side was fatal. So the brain learned to slam all attention into a narrow beam. Peripheral vision dims, hearing drops out, and every neuron spotlights the danger straight ahead. Reaction times get faster, distractions vanish, and you're basically running on survival autopilot. This ancient focus boost still kicks in today, Firefighters homing in on an exit, rock climbers locking onto the next hold, or someone juggling a crisis at work, tunnel vision helps them lock in and act fast. Sure, that prehistoric instinct might make you miss hearing your name yelled 12 times, but it also helps you nail deadlines, dodge danger, and focus on what's important. Sensitivity to bitterness. Taste something intensely bitter, and your whole mouth reacts like it's been pranked. That sharp, unpleasant jolt is your bitter taste alarm, evolution's built-in poison detector. Bitter compounds in nature often come from toxic plants, and early humans who could taste the danger instantly had a major survival edge. One bite of the wrong berry could be fatal. One bitter warning could save your life. So evolution packed our tongues with specialized receptors that scream bad idea at the first hint of certain alkaloids. Kids show this instinct especially clearly. Their dramatic broccoli grimace is ancient biology talking. This alarm still works today. Spoiled foods often develop a bitter, gross flavor that triggers instant rejection. Even medicines stay bitter, so kids don't chug them like juice. Some bitterness is now an acquired pleasure. Coffee, dark chocolate, IPA beers, but that's learned override. Our default wiring is simple. Bitter equals caution. Afraid of the dark. When the lights go out and suddenly every shadow looks suspicious, that's your ancient brain clocking in for the night shift. Humans are naturally uneasy in darkness because it puts us at a sensory disadvantage. We can't see well, and our imagination fills in the gaps a little too enthusiastically. For early humans, this fear was pure survival. Nighttime was when the predators came out. Big cats, hyenas, and snakes all hunted in low light, while our vision turned to mush. Being jumpy in the dark meant staying close to the fire, sticking with the group, and reacting fast to odd sounds. The cautious ones survived. The fearless adventurer who went into the pitch black forest probably did not. Over generations, that tension became an inherited alarm. Darkness means danger. Even today, that instinct keeps us safe. We avoid dark alleys, stay alert walking to our cars at night, double check locks, and keep night lights for kids. While you might turn on all the lights at home just to grab a late snack, that same instinct kept your ancestors from becoming a midnight meal. Cold shock response. Imagine stepping into icy water and your whole body goes from chill to full system reboot in one second. That blast of cold triggers the cold shock response. A huge involuntary inhale, heart rate spike, blood pressure jump, and every nerve yelling that the environment is suddenly hostile. For early humans, 
This was part of survival. Falling into a freezing river or lake could kill you fast. The reflexive gasp loads your lungs with oxygen. The adrenaline surge powers your muscles, and blood is shunted toward your core organs to keep them warm. It bought our ancestors a few critical minutes to thrash, swim, and climb out instead of silently sinking into hypothermia. Now, we've turned that ancient emergency system into a lifestyle trend. Cold plunges, ice baths, winter swims, cold showers, all of them hijack this reflex. The same norepinephrine and endorphin surge that once helped you survive now gives a jolt of alertness, better mood, and a weird sense of mental toughness. Don't feel bad for screaming like a baby when you tried an ice bath. Your ancestors used it to survive frozen rivers. Baby schema response. Big eyes, round cheeks, tiny noses. Evolution basically engineered these features as emotional triggers. The moment we see them, our brain hits a giant caretaking button and floods us with protectiveness. This made perfect sense in the ancestral world because human infants are famously helpless, and they stay like this until they're about one to two years old. Adults who felt irresistibly drawn to protect these wobbly little creatures kept more of them alive, so anything that turned on the awe reflex became a built-in survival upgrade. Studies even show that digitally enlarging a baby's eyes increases people's motivation to care for it, which tells you how precisely tuned our wiring is. This instinct still keeps kids safe today. A toddler veering toward a staircase can make strangers sprint like Olympic athletes. Even baby animals hijack the same circuitry, which is why we feel compelled to adopt creatures we can barely keep alive. Advertisers know this too. Anything sold with a cartoon big-eyed mascot instantly seems more trustworthy. It's an ancient alarm system repurposed into a modern cuteness economy. Automatic copycatting. Ever notice how you start tapping your foot when the person next to you does, or how you accidentally pick up a tiny hint of someone's accent after talking to them? That's the chameleon effect, our built-in tendency to subtly mirror the people around us. It's not mockery, it's social glue. For early humans, blending in was a survival strategy. Mirroring someone's posture signaled you were part of the tribe, not a threat. Think of it as evolution's version of match the vibe or get left behind. The better you synced, the more trust you earned, and the more likely you were to share resources, protection, and gossip around the campfire. And today, this instinct is still ridiculously effective. Teams click faster, conversations feel smoother, and strangers seem friendlier when bodies naturally fall into rhythm. Spend enough time with friends or family, and everyone gradually becomes a remix of each other's quirks. Same laugh, same slang, same oddly specific hand gestures. Sure, you might accidentally mimic someone's catchphrase like a glitching NPC, but that same instinct is why humans form friendships, alliances, and functioning societies. If you like this video and want to learn more about unique hidden advantages, check out these other videos.